Okay, let's get one thing straight. Uh, the Conservatives aren't conservative anymore. They're basically socialists in blue suits. They've completely let down the people who voted for them. I voted for Boris Johnson in the last general election because the other guy was Jeremy Corbyn. He was literally knocking on the door of Downing Street and the, he was a communist. He had destructive um, socialist policies ready to inflict upon the nation had he have gone into Downing Street to be Prime Minister. His number two, John McDonnell, would have been uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer. And this is the guy who stood in Parliament with uh, Chairman Mao's Red Book, waving it about. Chairman Mao, who murdered millions of his own people in order to realise his own communist goals. So I believe the Tories or the Conservatives, like the Tory is a derogatory name for a Conservative, by the way. It was given to them by a the party at the time called the Whigs, I think. I may be wrong. Correct me in the comments. I'm only human. But a Tory is the name of an Irish swamp rat. And then they call the Conservatives Tories, something like that anyway. So it's a derogatory name. Anyway, <laughs> they're completely screwed up. They've lied. Boris Johnson is a liar and he can't believe a word. He says, I mean, the Conservatives have historically been a party of not raising taxes, law and order, and just realising that what they have inherited is good, hence trying to conserve it all, Conservatives. But the guy has just literally done U-turn after U-turn after U-turn, and he's lied, and he's a buffoon. He looks stupid, and quite frankly, I think he's a socialist. I mean, now he's uh, the icing on the cake for me is raising the um, rate of national insurance. Here in the UK, if you don't know, if you're watching overseas, we pay national insurance in order to get free healthcare, the NHS. So if anything goes wrong, they don't search our wallets before they treat us, the ambulance crew. They whisk us away, put us in hospital, treat us, and there we go, right as rain. And we haven't been billed for it, but we do get charged for it via our national insurance. And that's going to go up now by 1.25%, which is quite significant, really. And he says he has risen that because he wants to help the elderly get the care that they deserve and need, and he needs to fund it somehow, so he's going to tax everyone. That's a Labour kind of thing. That's a socialist kind of thing to do. But I don't believe that 1.25% is going to go on care homes because he's already screwed over the staff because under this plague that's happening now, they've been threatened with no sting, no job. Why would you do that to people? And Britain's care of the elderly is absolutely rubbish anyway. And it's a sad fact, folks, that a elderly pensioner here in Britain will get far less to live on than anyone who's just rode over the channel in a dinghy. They get looked after far better, folks, and it's a fact. It's not racist, it's a fact. So can you imagine lived all your life, you've fought real Nazis in World War II, you've lived through uh, the Cold War, the strikes, everything, from 30s all the way through the 80s, the 90s, and now, and you get shit on by your own country, and you've worked all your life. It's disgusting. But I believe that what Boris Johnson has said is a complete and utter lie, because that money won't go into the care home system. Because as I found out today, uh, the Tories, or the Conservatives, have come up with Operation Warm Welcome. and uh, It's Britain's Afghan resettlement scheme, and it'll cost the British taxpayer an estimated £2.5 billion over the next 10 years. So where would he have got the money to fund that? And I think he's done it through the lie of um, saying it's for the care home system when it's not, I believe, is going to pay for this. Because looking at the maths, and the source of this is the um, HM government website, funnily enough, the cost of our asylum system is 1.4 billion a year, and that's up from 956 million last year. The NHS spends over 23 million a year on translators and uh, millions more on middle managers who have nothing to do with anything medical. And last year, the country spent £600,000 on deportation flats that not even took off. And they didn't take off because of bleeding heart lefty lawyers and lefty activists on Twitter saying that the country was being racist because we were deporting um, nasty pieces of work who shouldn't have been in our society in the first place. And let's not forget foreign aid. And foreign aid was £14.5 billion last year. Now, all that money raised by hiking up national insurance, it'll have to get filtered through the NHS to get into the care home system. And of course, as we all know, the NHS is a massive black hole of public money. 
it won't even touch it won't even touch the care home system whatsoever it'll go towards operation warm welcome and other non-jobs and racist nhs managers like asinine benjamin whom i told you of uh the other day so you see boris johnson and the likes uh, foreign secretary Priti patel they've done nothing about the people rowing over in their hundreds um across the channel literally every day if you look at the figures there's enough illegal migrants rowing over the channel to come here the land of milk and honey to fill up a a whole tower block and we're not sending them back we are literally giving them residential status putting them in hotels feeding them clothing them giving them money to spend and it's the taxpayer that's missing out so you see the conservative party don't really represent people like me and there's going to be people like me that will screw them over come the next general election and that's going to happen because people like me are the majority demographic of uh, of these islands because i am a white british conservative uh, brexiteer and there are more people like me who vote the way i do than they do who vote left-wing parties like labor and lib dems and green thankfully and i can prove it because during the brexit campaign 17.4 million of us voted to leave the eu and if you believe what the internet tells you more people regret voting Remain than they did voting for Brexit. Therefore, that makes people like me in the majority, and the Conservatives don't represent people like me in the majority anymore. So who am I going to vote for? Well, I'm not going to vote Conservatives and Boris Johnson anymore because the opposition isn't as dangerous as Jeremy Corbyn and doesn't hold communist values. Apparently, or allegedly, um, Keir Starmer has eradicated that from his party, all he has now are people like David Lammy and the sort, and they're just thick idiots, aren't they? And for once, and the first time ever, I agree with David Lammy. Look who retweeted. Boris Johnson can't be trusted. He is a liar, and he's let the country down because, because of that. So instead of making a tactical vote now to keep a dangerous politician out of Downing Street, um, or like I said earlier, Keir Starmer isn't as dangerous as the communist Jeremy Corbyn, I'll be voting for an independent, if there is one, that um, represents me, my conservative values, puts this country and its people first. If there isn't one, then they're simply not voting. Simple as that. I don't have to vote. That's the beauty of living in a free and democratic country so far, is I don't have to vote. It's a, it's a, a rightful privilege, so to speak. And that's that folks, so if you feel inclined to support my channel then please feel free to buy me a beer. And until my next video, please comment, share, subscribe and Roger Trout.